Hello students, welcome back to my channel Food Tech Online. So in this video, we'll be going to discuss on food packaging. That is an important topic for CUET PG. Now let's proceed further. Also, before proceeding further, let me tell you all that Food Tech Online has launched an ebook for all the CUET PG food science and technology aspirants. So, this ebook will cover all the six sections. Those six sections include Introduction to Food Science and Technology, Basic Baking Technology, Introduction to Food Safety and Preservation, Advanced Baking Technology, Advanced Fruit and Vegetable Preservation Technology, and Food Safety, Hygiene, and Quality Testing. So, all three, all these six sections are covered in a precise manner and are important for your exam point of view. The link for the ebook is given in the description box. Now, let's start with the topic. So, packaging is the scientific method of containing food products against physical damage, chemical changes, further microbiological contamination and displaying the product most attractively for consumer preferences. Iska kya matlab hua? Iska matlab ye hai ki packaging is any material that contain the food product. Jo humare product ko contain karke rakhta hai, apne andar enclose karke rakhta hai. Usko bachane ke liye to against physical damage, chemical changes and microbial contamination. Also, jo product humara appealing lagta hai. it is more appealing when it's packaged good suppose if you are going to a supermarket and you you are not aware of the product but you see the packaging is very nice gloomy colorful so in this case the packaging is attracting the consumer so now we'll discuss about the primary functions of packaging it contains the food product for ease and safety during transport protect against spillage, evaporation or pulverage losses and it also protects the product from contamination, also pro uh, prevent the degradation that can be caused by, via environmental factors and it is the most convenient way of dispensing and also it attracts the consumer and is, provides the identification of manufacturer's brand, quality, quantity and the type of product. And educate the consumer. Educate the consumer in terms of it. Uh, the label of the packaging, the label of the product is enclosed on the packaging itself, which includes the batch number, manufacturer date, exp expiry date, and also it contains the MRP and uh, uh, several other things like the nutritional value. Now we'll discuss about the properties that are important in terms of in selecting the material used for packaging like strength properties tensile strength tensile what is tensile strength tensile strength is basically the maximum stretch that material can bear before breaking when it is allowed to stretch matlab uh, tensile strength uh, strength uh, tensile strength basically jab hum kisi product uh, kisi material ko hum stretch kar rahe hain so the amount of stress it can bear while stretching. जब हम उसको stretch कर रहे हैं तो कितना stress वो ले पाता है कि वो टूटे ना जब तक वो break ना हो. ठीक है? Next is bursting strength. Bursting strength क्या होता है? Bursting strength is the property of packaging material and it is also a general guide to strength of uh, to guide the strength of material. The pressure needed to burst a material, especially plastic, paper or paperboard that are used for packaging. Bursting strength is basically applying the pressure and the amount of pressure that is needed. The amount of pressure that is needed to burst the product, to burst the material. Tearing strength, water vapor permeability. Water vapor permeability is basically the ability to allow water vapor to pass through it. Similarly, grease permeability, oil permeability and heat sealability. Now, there are two broad categories of packaging. One is rigid packaging materials and flexible packaging materials. Rigid packaging are the strong and durable material that are used to contain various products and it is also designed to avoid bending, curving, snapping or breaking of the product. Whereas, flexible packaging materials are the materials that those shape can be readily changed during use or after use 
and they they can bend easily and bundle together to save the spaces now we'll discuss the types of rigid packaging and flexible so rigid packaging materials are metal cans metal cans are you can see uh, soft drinks packagings uh, and glass containers for beverage industry specifically like beer or anything rigid plastic packages wooden boxes and crates are used for the transportation of fruits and vegetables fiberboard and cardboard boxes these are used for uh, transportation of uh, uh, snacks or ready to eat food whereas flexible packaging includes aluminum foil and different type of plastics that are polyethylene polypropylene pvc that is polyvinyl chloride and pvdc polyvinyl polyvinylidene dichloride that is used for poultry cured meats snacks foods tea coffee and also modified atmosphere packaging of food products polyamide polyester cellophane so now we'll discuss about active packaging active packaging is basically refers to the incorporation of certain additives into the packaging film or within the packaging containers with the aim of maintaining and extending product shelf life in simple terms we can say active packaging is the packaging that plays an active role in reducing the food spoilage there are several uses of active packaging which includes it is used to increase the food safety to extend the shelf life of the product and to decrease the food food loss and it is also used as a marketing tool there are different type of active packagings that are sachets and pads or an, and it can be directly incorporated into packaging materials sachets and pads are placed inside the packages and active ingredients that are incorporated into the sachets and pads itself and the sachets and pads are kept inside the package now there are certain disadvantages of the sachets and pads uh, that are that it cannot be used in liquid foods and it cannot be used in package that is made of flexible film as a as the film will clench to the sachet and prevent it from performing its function and it is also the uh, the risk of accidental in ingestion by consumer is also there so the other materials that containing active components includes the incorporating the scavenger into the packaging material itself and that is more efficient than the uh, sachet and pad one now we'll discuss about oxygen scavenging technique oxygen scavenging what is oxygen scavenging technique oxygen scavengers so basically the presence of oxygen in food packages is mainly responsible to accelerate the spoilage of many foods it is also the major cause of uh, causing of food of flavor development in food and the color changes nutrient loss and microbial attack uh, also most molds uh, require oxygen to grow and in standard packages it is frequently mold growth which limits the shelf life of the packaged baked goods and also the trials have shown that mold growth on some baked products can be stopped for at least 30 days after removing the oxygen and the removal of oxygen can also delay oxidation of and therefore rancidity development in vegetable oils now oxygen scavengers are basically materials that are incorporated into packaged structures that chemically combine with and thus effectively remove oxygen from the inner package environment for example ferrous compounds like catechol ascorbic acid and its analog analogs ligands oxidative enzymes such as glucose oxidase unsaturated hydrocarbons and polyamides are used as oxygen scavengers also the advantages of oxy using oxygen scavenging techniques is that it prevent oxidation phenomena and rancidification of fats and oils and consequent emergence of off odors and off flavors loss and change of color characteristic of food loss of oxygen sensitive nutrients also prevent the growth of anaerobic micro aerobic microorganisms and it reduce or eliminate the need for preservatives and oxid anti -oxidant. it also slows down the metabolism of food now coming to intelligent packaging 
intelligent packaging. It is a packaging system that is capable of carrying out the intelligent functions like detecting, sensing, recording, tracing, communicating and applying scientific logic. Intelligent packaging refers to packaging materials that can monitor the condition of packaged foods or its surrounding environment, providing information about foods, freshness, quality or other relevant factors. Also, it is used to facilitate decision making, extend shelf life, enhance the safety, improve the quality, provide information and warn about the possible problems. Intelligent packaging systems are of three types, indicators, RFIDs that is radio frequency identification tags and sensors. Applications in the food sector intelligent packaging is commonly used in food industry to track and monitor the quality of perishable products. It can detect changes in temperature via time temperature indicators, gas composition or microbial growth allowing for better inventory management and reduced food waste. And it also benefits the consumer and intelligent packaging provide consumers with valuable information about the food they are purchasing. It can indicate the freshness of the product via freshness indicators and also alert consumers to potential spoilage and even provide cooking instructions or nutritional information. Now, what are indicators? Indicators are basically the substances that indicate the presence or absence of the another substance or the degree of reaction between two or more substances by means of characteristic changes, especially in color. For example, we have time temperature indicator. Time temperature indicator basically gives information on temperature, shows the variation and history in temperature visualized as a color movement or color change we have freshness indicators freshness indicators indicates the microbial quality of the product by reacting the reacting to the metabolites produced in the growth of microorganisms for example fresh tags time strip ripe sense and sensor qtm Coming to aseptic packaging, aseptic packaging is defined as the filling of a commercially sterile product into a sterile container under aseptic conditions and hermetically sealing the container so that the reinfection can be prevented. This results in a product which is shelf stable at ambient conditions. In simple words, we can say that aseptic packaging is a method of packaging that sterilizes both the product and the packaging material before filling, which ensures that the product remains sterile and free from contamination. Now, the term aseptic is derived from the Greek word septikos, which means the absence of putrefactive microorganisms. There are two uh, specific fields of application of aseptic packaging technology, which are packaging of pre-sterilized and sterile products, for example, milk and dairy products, puddings, desserts and fruits and vegetables. And the other one is packaging of non-sterile products to avoid infection by microorganisms like fermented dairy products like yogurt. Now, aseptic packaging process. The aseptic packaging process involves several steps which include sterilization of the packaging material, sterilization of the product, filling the sterile packaging material with the sterile product and hermetically sealing the package at last. And also, aseptic packaging technology is fundamentally different from that of conventional food processing by canning. Don't get confused students. In canning, the process begins with treating the food prior to filling. In initial operations, inactivate enzymes so that these will not degrade the product during processes. The package is clean and the product is introduced into the package, usually hot. Generally, air that can cause oxidative damage is removed from the interior. Whereas, the packaging her package is hermetically sealed and then subjected to heating. The package must be able to withstand heat up to about 100 degrees Celsius high acid product and up to 127 degrees Celsius for low acid products. And the advantages of aseptic packaging includes convenient, 
aseptic packages are portable lightweight and shatter proof and easily transportable and food safety the aseptic process and carton together ensures the liquid food or beverage inside is free from harmful bacteria and contaminants and the no, uh, the refrigeration is not required for the aseptic package products and it enhances the shelf life of the product for example uh, tetra pack is the most common example of aseptic packaging the tetra pack products can survive up to 9 months uh depending upon the product to product and more nutrition more nutrition is like as compared with canning products can retain more nutrients as well as natural taste color and texture also the low packaging to the product ratio aseptic packaging offers other several benefits which include the uh, same as uh, extended shelf life reduced spoilage and the ability to package products without preservatives so one more thing that the food tech online has an app in the play store by the name food tech online you can get the link in the description also if you are preparing for any food related exam cuet pg fci food analyst food safety officer or gate 2025 or if you want to practice questions on the topics then there are different sections and by choosing these sections you will get the different sub topics and in that sub topics you will get the questions that you can practice and and in your preparation also if you like my video then do like share and subscribe happy learning thank you